you just can't go wrong with this fish. It's Golden Pomfret! <laughs> Um, if you have never seen this fish before, I'm sorry. If you have and not tried yet, you gotta go buy it today. It's called Golden Pomfret. In Malaysia, we call it Ikan Bawa Emas. Bawa Emas is quite popular in Southeast Asia. And typically people grill them, but I always eat it at sashimi. It is 1,022 grams, about 30 centimeters in length, and it was a uh, Tigaplu ringgit. It was around Tigaplu ringgit. Um, quite pricey, eh? Uh, but they all taste good regardless of the size. Um, when the fish is still fresh, it can be eaten at sashimi, of course, and uh, golden pound fried is one of the best fish for sashimi as far as I'm concerned um, if you are a yellowtail lover you will enjoy golden pound fried for sure it's got the taste which is very similar to uh, yellowtail amberjack striped jack you know uh, they all have a rich and fatty taste um, so here I'm struggling to uh, clean and fillet the fish, especially when I have have uh, no other choice but to use my sprouting it IKEA knife. Um, by the way, with golden palm thread, I do not remove the scales because the scales are super tiny and very hard to be removed. But that's all right, because you will skin the fish later anyway. Um, in Southeast Asia, people do not really eat fish at sashimi other than they eat out at sushi restaurants and stuff. But me, I cook sashimi all the time at home, even here in Malaysia. All you gotta do is go out to a wet market, find the freshest fish you can get, and bring it home and cook. I'll give you some tips. Number one, do not have the vendor clean the guts for you. You do it yourself at home lah. And make sure you keep the fish you bought deadly cold from the market to your house. Um, you can ask the vendor to put some ice cubes in the bag or you can bring, you know, those frozen ice packs from home to keep your fish cold. Here I'm trying to fillet the fish and do you see how shiny the meat is? It's actually the fat of the fish that's shiny. Um, it is so rich in fat. Um, there are different methods of filleting the fish and many YouTubers are doing videos on how to fillet the fish so you can learn from them. But at the end of the day, your method is the best method. And now it's time to skin the fish. By the way, talking about the taste of the fish, I love the rib part of the meat, which is the bottom half of the fish. For that, it's got more fat than the upper part of the fish. The upper part is somewhat um, lighter in taste, and I love eating it as namelo zushi or tataki zushi. I will do the video on those dishes some other day. And to the left, I have purple spot big eye sashimi as well, and I will wrap them in the kitchen paper and keep them in the fridge and age them for 72 hours to enjoy the aged sashimi. So the bottom half is golden palm fret, and upper half is purple spot big eye
and I'm gonna slice them to make sushi. So here it is, it's golden pomfret and purple spot big eye! Look how shiny they are! Saya makan dulu, itadakimasu! So I'm gonna try uh, purple spot big eye first. Let's see. Mm. Well, it's lighter in taste. You know, it's got less fat, but it's really good. And uh, golden pomfret, of course, is the best fish for sashimi. For sure. Can't go wrong with this fish. Now it's your turn to try this at home. Bye!